Hello everyone, so we're outside the training ground. I forgot my memory card for the camera, so this is right the reason why I'm recording on the phone. I've got Kyle with us as well. Apologise about the wind, the storm has hit where it's already taken four trees down on the way here, and Kyle's seen one of them just before on the road. So um, we're going to be talking about us, Newcastle Dun Palace, earlier on today. But for me, Kyle, that start lineup needs to change for me. Do you reckon we should there? Who do you reckon for midfield? Shelby has to start, hasn't he? Shelby's got to start. Yeah, we need to create a force in midfield. Clear, we need someone who can pass further than 10 yards because there's a lot of players that aren't able to at the minute. So, uh, yeah, I would definitely play Shelby. I was saying to you in the car before, I don't think Isaac Hayden's unfortunately good enough, good enough for this level. Do you think I'm being too harsh? Hmm. It's a tough one with Hayden because he has promise, but at the end of the day, he is, um, this season he hasn't had the best, best of times as he's had the, the uh, personal problems which he wanted away for. And uh, he wanted... And he got sent off at Cardiff as well. And didn't have the best of games uh, on last week either. So if he is going to pick it up, it needs to be in the next couple of games. It won't be wrong, hopefully. And surely Rondon's got to start how he? Rondon, definitely. I, I just don't think Josto has been good enough the past couple of games. Um, although he has scored two or three at home. Uh, personally, I just I prefer Rondon. I think he's got he's got better general play. Works a lot harder. Uh, so I'll definitely go with Rondon at the weekend. Uh, he's got to start, surely. You, you get him for a reason. Right then, so for me, Palace are very strong down that left with Van Arnhold, possibly Zaha. Is there a case of doubling up on possibly both of them? You've got to, haven't you? Um, Zaha's like the main, the main key player that'll get them, that'll get, that'll win, win them game, win them games on on his own. This season will be a lot where he's the game changer. So we've definitely got to double up on Zaha, and make sure we've got a game plan specifically in mind to stop him from scoring goals because he's the main man at the end of the day. He was basically his turnaround and said on the last weekend that he wants protection from referees. What do you make of that? Do you think he's got a fair count or has he just been a prima dog, pre banana? It's it's a bit of both because um, he does get kicked a lot. I have watched past games where he does get the like, fouled a lot, but there is a lot of like diving and that in there as well. But it's written in the stars now, we said it. Um, oh, the referees won't do anything for me. Um, you'll get a penalty at the weekend and, and one of the players will get sent off because Andre Marin is the referee. Ah, he was saying that. He did not see. Like, every time he's referee of a Newcastle game, it's uh, one thing or another. Either a Newcastle player gets sent off or a penalty or both. It's one of them. Right, so how do we approach it? Um, it's a tough one because you said before doubling up on, the, on, on Zaha and it has to happen. Um, I'd say we need to stay, we need to, we need to be cautious going to pass because we do have a lot of attacking options. Um, the defence is a bit shaky and it is something that we can get up with both left. Yeah, it is going to be, it is, I'd say be cautious and don't go gun go straight from the off because if we do that, Zaha will hit one on the counter attack and he will score goals. I think for us as well, we've got to have our key men actually start performing as well yeah. because Kennedy needs a good performance. Shelby, Shelby's got to come back in, as you were saying. Yeah, you have. Rondon, Rondon probably needs a goal. I know he scored against Forrest, but he needs another one for yeah, me. Needs time. Eh? Rondon needs time. He hasn't really had, had, a, he hasn't had a Premier League start, has he? It's been just through. But I think all those need to start, and hopefully Lascelles is all right. I think it's only twisted ankle and he should be okay for the game, but... What's your score prediction? Are you going to give us one? <laughs> I'm not one for score predictions. I think we'll win it. I'm going to go in 2-1. I'm, I'm quite optimistic this weekend because I think the pressure's on and Rafa delivers when the pressure's on against smaller teams. So I'm going to go in away for, for a win. We're, we're going to be down there. You're going by coach. I am. Um, unfortunately, we'll not see him much, but we'll try and grab him for a fan cam. I'm going down by the car, staying overnight. So do keep an eye out for all those videos. Tomorrow, Kyle's going to be doing his... Predicted 11. I think we're going to do that in the car because it's absolutely horrendous this weather. Right. Um, and obviously we're at the training ground as you can see. But we shall love you and leave you. Watch what you're doing. Have a good night. Bye-bye.